Good morning, YouTubers. Mike Martins here from the Mike How To and Style channel that I got going on. Guys, don't forget to check out MTG.toys, where we have more board games in stock than pretty much. <laughs> I should change the story to MTG or to MB Merit. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for coming. MTG.toys. Don't forget to check it out. We got lots of really cool stuff online. So today we're going to look at the top five new releases or newer releases or releases that came out in 2020 but got held back because of you know what i'm talking about and i can't mention it here because we're not allowed to talk about that so anyways let's look at the top five games that you should take a look at and research and maybe pick up for yourself so let's all right my city manifest your destiny i saw this game i saw the art I think it come it came out last week. It was one of our newer releases. Two to four players. And this is what the back looks like there for you guys to see. After a long journey, you have finally arrived in a new land. You immediately start building and developing your city. Uh, gold, rich veins of gold have been discovered. So basically, it's a work management game. Tile placement, work management. Really good game. My City. Check that one out. New game that just came out. Rocketman. By Martin Wallace. And Martin Wallace makes great games. And when I saw a Martin Wallace game, it's $39.99 Canadian. So that works out for about $25 American or $29 American. And here it is, Rocket Men by Martin Wallace. A deck building game uh, with uh, innovative twists of preparing your missions to launch pad. Temporarily removing part of your assets from the deck to play. To win, you must find a balance between mission and money. Parts? Uh, of your deck, use efficiency as the victory conditions rewards those. So it's a deck building game. So you you basically start off with a bunch of crummy cards, and with those crummy cards, you build a better deck. And with the better deck, you evolve into building your um, innovation through space and technology. So that's a Martin Wallace game. Aquatica, another one for forty bucks Canadian, thirty nine ninety nine. Aquatica, one to four players. This game looks awesome, and again, it's another new release here. Aquatica. So, uh, illustrators and the deep waters of the ocean uh, are hiding many secrets of the unknown creatures uh, among sharks, whales, corals, and shrimp. Uh, their lives and the entire civilization of sea folk. So it goes into uh, it's. It looks like it's deck building. And it looks like it's, uh, looks like it's it's it, it's it's a balance game uh, with goals and stuff. So you have two sided tokens. Looks interesting, and definitely a game to look at. Another one, Juicy Fruits. This one came out the other day. It was last week's release. Juicy Fruits. Now look at the back of this, guys. Juicy Fruits. Each of you has a small island of paradise where you make a living growing delicious fruit. Your goal is to gain the most points by supplying ships and adding businesses to your island. I'm sold on this. I It's one to four players. I definitely want to check that out. And Exit, the deserted lighthouse. Now, these Exit games, let me explain to you how they play. Basically, it's one to, let me see if this is one to four or one to five. One to four players, ages 12 and up. Now, basically... You are set with a bunch of set of instructions, and you have to exit the scenario. I have exit games right there. If you look right there, you'll see I got a pile of exit games there. And let me tell you, the game is fun. Uh, it's a one-time playthrough, though, right? So it's it's the escape room game. Uh, you can't play at home. So you trudge along the dark, rocky coast, seeing shelter from a raging storm. Deta uh, drenched to the bone, you look up and see a brilliant beam of light pierce the curtains of rain. A lighthouse, but suddenly, unexpectedly, the lighthouse goes out. At a glance into the water, and a spot of a ship is heading straight to your cliffs. You realize that it is... So you have to go on. You have to go in there and turn that lighthouse on before the ship... Um, sails into the rocks so every exit game in existence is basically have some sort of uh either escape or break in to do something or mine i like the the um orient express one dead man on orient express that game is really good uh basically you have to solve the cr who who committed the crime before the sh the the train arrives at its uh final destination so there it is there, one, two, three, four, five new games. I get a little, a lot of people asking me about what games should I get, Mike. I've been to your store. I don't know what I'm looking at. There's so many board games everywhere. I mean, it just doesn't end. Ingenious is a good one. 
Smarty Party is a good one. If you like party, spy city of Estrol, Estrol city of spies. That's where James Bond was invented in Estrol, Portugal. That's where uh, when Port Portugal was neutral during World War II, and all the spies and royalty went to Portugal to hide out the war. Lots of horror games here. It just it just keeps going on and on and on. And we RPG books we have listed too. Suburbia. If you like building and expanding your suburban outflow. Uh, City Skylines, another good board game. I know we talk about how uh, housing on my main channel, but here it is, guys. These are the games right here I wanted to show you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about these five new releases. If you've played them, I haven't played any one of these. They're too new. I took this home to play home with the wife and mom, and and other games I take home for the kids because they're smaller. So I won't be playing something like this with my entire family for a while. Comment below. I appreciate the support and mtg.toys. Check it out, guys, and see what we got going on and uh, see what we got for sale. Thanks so much, guys. I love you guys. Thank you. Goodbye.